I'm opposed to both Republicans and Democrats uh, using people uh, to make political points on something so sensitive as, as and, uh, you know, so vulnerable as people who are immigrants. And it's been done by both sides. I think it was seven flights. Strong words from Miami's mayor. It's over the migrants that DeSantis flew to Martha's Vineyard and then moved again. Our team coverage continues now with CBS Force Peter Dinch. She spoke one on one with the mayor. And Peter joins us right now from downtown Miami with more on his conversation. Peter, I thought at first he was reluctant to talk about this, but he opened up to you. That's right, Elliot. Well, we caught up with him at the U.S. Conference of Mayors in this one-on-one -on -one conversation, and he did not directly criticize Governor Ron DeSantis, but he did take issue with both parties from moving migrants around, and he said a clear national policy is needed. I'm opposed to both Republicans and Democrats uh, using people uh, to make political points on something so sensitive as, as and, uh, you know, so vulnerable as people who are immigrants. And it's been done by both sides. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez speaks out after two planes carrying nearly 50 mostly Venezuelan migrants are flown to Martha's Vineyard. This is something that I think both parties um, share the blame. Right. You're talking about, um, from our understanding of the reporting, uh, the federal government has sent 70 flights of migrants into the state of Florida. And we should not, uh, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you should not politicize people. The migrants have been moved to a military base on Cape Cod. Uh, the Venezuelan people have suffered tremendously. Obviously, many of them are, are uh, um, fleeing political persecution, much like Cubans that came to this country. Governor Ron DeSantis says the flights were part of the state's $12 million relocation program program to transport illegal immigrants to sanctuary destinations. We take what's happening at the southern border very seriously, unlike some and unlike the president of the United States who has refused to lift a finger to secure that border. And you've had millions and millions of people pouring across illegally, record amount of fentanyl coming into our country. It is absolutely killing Americans in record numbers. DeSantis says he has another message. Yes, if you have folks that are inclined to think Florida is a good place, our message to them is we are not a sanctuary state. It's time for us to have a comprehensive solution to this problem on a bipartisan basis uh, so that we can move on uh, and, and so that we can treat people like human beings. Now, coming up at 6 in just one hour, we'll have more of that conversation with Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. We will also hear from the mayors of both Houston, Texas and Washington, D.C., and we'll hear what solutions they might have. We are live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.